In this video demonstration, we will be configuring the Cisco Email Security Appliance using the Startup Wizard. Out of the box, the email appliance has an IP address of 192.168.42.42. Log in using the credentials Admin Ironport. Upon logging in, you will be asked to accept the End User License Agreement. and click Begin Setup. The default system host name typically is the MTA's name. Email system alerts to any scheduled reports that you would like delivered. The time zone, GMC offset, in my case, America. United States, Central Time. Optionally, the time NTP server, the administrator password. Default is Ironport. Sender-based network participation allows Cisco to gather information and report limited data. We suggest that you leave this enabled and auto support. Click Next. Here you will need to provide the default route for the network. If you're using IP6, you can provide that as well. Use the Internet's root DNS servers or specify your own, as well as any interfaces that you will be enabling. In this case, Data1, IP will change along with the net mask and the fully qualified host name. I will accept email on this interface for the domain. And what server will I deliver this to? If there are additional rows, you can click the Add Row button. In order to allow email to be delivered to the internet, I will allow relay from my internal mail server. Click Next. Notice it says errors have occurred. Correct the errors. Next. Message security, enable sender based reputation filtering, enable iron port anti spam with the quarantine. I'm going to use Sophos for antivirus and enable outbreak filters. Click Next. At this point, the system allows you to review your configuration and make any changes that may be necessary. Once you are satisfied with your configuration, click Install this configuration, keeping in mind that the IP address has changed from the factory default to the one specified. 